Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing Kotem style Kerala fish curry. This fish curry is made with Kudampuli and it's a traditional fish curry from Kerala. So this fish curry is also known as Kudampuli Itta Meen Curry. This curry is also known as red fish curry. So if you have been to Kerala, you might have tasted this. It's very easy to make. Even bachelors can make this fish curry. Fish curry can be had with uh, roti, rice, patri, pot, boiled tapioca, tapioca curry. This is one of the traditional fish curry from Kerala and uh, very easy to make at home. So without wasting much time, let's get started with the recipe. To make Kotem style Kerala fish curry, the most important ingredient you need is Kudampuli, also known as Garcinia Kampogia. So I have uh, three pieces of uh, Kudampuli and uh, I'm going to wash and rinse it a couple of times. Now I have already shared a detailed video on the health benefits of uh, Kudampuli. Links will be updated in the description box below this video. Please do check it out. So I'm going to wash and rinse it a couple of times. So the reason you need to wash and rinse it a couple of times is that it may have some dirt or sand particles in between the folds. So I'm going to add the washed and rinsed Kudampuli into a small mug or a bowl. And I'm going to add in half cup of water. So basically what I am doing is I'm just soaking the Kudampuli. While I'll get the other ingredients ready, the Kodampuli or Malabar tamarind will be soaked and you will notice that uh, the color will also be on the darker side. So I'm going to keep it aside. The next ingredients I'm using are about six to seven shallots. Now these shallots are uh, reasonably big ones. So if you're using small shallots, uh, you can use about eight to ten shallots, about six garlic cloves, two green chilies and a small piece of ginger and I'm going to slice all this and I prefer to use a finger cap like this when I'm slicing vegetables many of you had asked me from where you can get finger caps in Kerala we mostly use finger caps to cut vegetables and these finger caps are available all across Kerala even in small shops you can get them they're not very costly this comes in a pack of six or ten pieces and uh, they help to prevent uh, your fingers getting cut. I'm just uh, slicing the shallots. Now these can also be ground coarsely in a stone grinder or in the small chutney grinder but these days I prefer to slice and make the fish curry. It's just a matter of personal preference. With green chili I'm just giving a slit halfway through garlic I'm just slicing like this so every family has their own unique way of making this traditional Kerala style fish curry I'm just showing you how I make it these kinds of recipes are passed down in the family so this is how my grandmother used to make my grandmother used to coarsely grind all these ingredients but i prefer to slice it so it's all just a personal preference uh, if you prefer you can coarsely grind this or you can finely grind this or you can simply slice and add as i am showing today the fish i'm using today is uh, butterfish which in Malayalam is known as moda this is about half kg of butterfish now you can use just about any fish to make this curry um, like a mackerel sardine pearl spot sear fish also known as naimin in Malayalam now to make the curry traditionally a clay pot or a clay pan is used clay pots and uh, clay pans are easily available all across Kerala one of the most important thing when it comes to healthy cooking is the use of uh, healthy oils as in using wood pressed oils so this is wood pressed coconut oil which I source locally okay I also would like to show you uh, I hope you can see uh, these peppercorns in the oil so these uh, peppercorns will prevent the coconut oil from getting rancid rancid activity will be prevented by peppercorns 
so just uh, add in some black peppercorns to prevent any rancid activity in the wood pressed coconut oil coconut oil tend to get uh, rancid pretty fast so this is a tip from my mother which i'm sure will help you also so now my pan is heated up and i'm adding in about one and a half tablespoon of wood pressed coconut oil and i'm just uh, swirling the clay pan so that the oil is coated all over the pan once the oil is heated i'm adding in one third teaspoon methi seeds and once it starts to splutter i'm adding in three fourth teaspoon mustard seeds and once the mustard seeds starts to splutter i'm reducing the flame to the lowest and then i'm adding in the sliced ingredients give it a stir and let it saute on low flame so you need to saute it till the shallots turn transparent I'm adding in little fresh curry leaves i'm tearing the leaves and adding in so that the flavors are released just give it a stir Okay, now the shallots have started to turn transparent. At this stage, I'm adding in the next important ingredient, which is Kashmiri chili powder. So I'm adding in two and a half tablespoon of Kashmiri chili powder. Kashmiri chili powder has very less heat, but it gives a nice vibrant red color to the dish. Now, if you're using ordinary chili powder, reduce the chili powder by half. Uh, one fourth uh, turmeric powder. And I'm going to roast the chili powder on low flame. You need to saute it for about a minute or until the raw flavor of the chili powder has diminished. Now the main ingredient in this fish curry is chili powder. So that is the reason why the fish curry is red in color. Okay, now the raw flavor has diminished and I'm going to add in the soaked kudampuli along with the water. And as you can see, the color of the water has changed to slightly dark. So I'm going to add in it. I'm adding in another half cup of water. Add in pink Himalayan salt as needed. Another important thing in healthy cooking is the use of salt. Try to use natural salts like pink Himalayan salt. Pink Himalayan salt has a slightly lesser salt taste than refined salt. So that is the reason why I'm adding in two teaspoons of salt. And now I'm going to allow this to come to a boil. The red color of the fish curry is from the chili powder we are using. While the curry is getting heated up, I'm grinding some black peppercorns. It's about half a teaspoon of whole black peppercorns. Okay, now the curry has boiled and I'm going to reduce the flame to the lowest. I'm adding in the freshly ground black pepper powder and I'm going to add in the fish slices. I'm just going to swirl the pan. And I'm going to put the flame on high and I'm going to bring this to a boil. Okay, now uh, the curry has started to boil and I'm going to reduce the flame to the lowest. And I'm going to simmer it for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. The longer you simmer, the thicker the gravy and the more tasty the fish curry will be. I'm going to cover it halfway like this. Not going to fully cover it, just a little gap should be there for the steam to release out. And I'm going to keep it like this on low flame for about uh, 10 minutes and then we'll open and see. It's about 10 minutes now. Let's check on the curry. So I'm just going to give it a swirl. I'm 
I'm going to allow it to simmer for another 10 minutes. But I'm not going to cover it with the lid now. Just keeping it open and simmering it for another 10 minutes. Okay, it's about 10 minutes now. And I'm going to swirl the pan once more. And lastly, I'm adding in some fresh curry leaves. Cover it with the lid. Not going to fully cover, I'm going to leave some space and turn off the flame. This fish curry is best served once it has cooled down slightly. Okay, it's about uh, 45 minutes since I made the curry and I just want to show you how it looks once it has cooled down. So like I mentioned, the curry has slightly thickened. And uh, since I've used uh, Kashmiri chili powder, it's not too spicy, even though it does have a nice red color, uh, the iconic red color of Kerala fish curry. But if you're using ordinary chili powder, you reduce by half. And I've also made a um, carrot thorin for a lunch. It's just a simple thorin made with carrot. So guys, do try this recipe and uh, let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.